Hey there, service pros. This is Christian from the Workies product team. In this video, we're gonna talk about how to add a job in Workies. Adding a job is one of the most basic and fundamental things you'll do in Workies. Fortunately, it's also one of the easier things you can do. Let's get started. You can add a job in a bunch of different ways throughout the software, but we'll focus on the most basic way, right from the sidebar navigation. We'll just click on the Create button from the sidebar navigation over here on the left and then select Job. You'll see a handful of sections that you'll need to complete. We'll start with client details. Duplicate clients are the worst, so Workies will automatically check to see if you already have this client in your account, verifying if the name, phone number, or email address you entered is already associated with an existing client profile. Moving on to the service location, Workies will verify if the address you enter is listed as a verified location on Google Maps. When entering your address, Workies will also automatically link it to the nearest service area you have stored in your account. This way, your dispatchers can easily determine if this is a job your business can accept or not. For more information on how to set up service areas, feel free to check out the link in the description below. Next is job details. You'll be asked to select the job type. This will help you determine who on your team is capable of performing the job. If you don't already have job types set up, you can create one from scratch using this button right here. To learn more about job types, feel free to check out the link in the description below. Next, we'll select job source. This tells Workies what advertisement is responsible for bringing you this job. This way, Workies can automatically generate a report that tells you which ad sources have brought you the most jobs, the highest amount of profit, and even some of the bad stuff like highest cancellation rates. You can add a brief job description here to give your team more information. Next is the schedule details. You can choose the date and time and even create a recurring schedule using this button right here. We've got a whole video dedicated to recurring jobs, so feel free to check out the link in the description below. Now it's time to assign a team member. You'll notice Workies is notifying you that you only have a certain number of team members who can A, work in the service area linked to this job, and B, perform the job type you entered. Again, this way your dispatchers don't have to spend too much time deciding on who can take the job. You can select Show Schedule to see who has availability, and then easily choose the tech that is free from the list or drag the selection right on the schedule itself. Before we create this job, you'll notice I have a few fields at the bottom that you probably don't see on your screen. Those are custom fields, which are basically what they sound like fields that I created so that I can track the sort of information important to my business. If you've got custom fields enabled, you can easily create a new field using this button down here. You can add basic text or number fields, or even add spaces for images, drop-down menus, and more. You can also assign these fields to specific job types and make certain custom fields required in order to create or close the job. Again, if you want more information, and I'm guessing you probably do, you know where to look. Or maybe not, it's in the description below. Once you're all set, hit create at the bottom of the screen. The job will automatically have a status of submitted and be added to your schedule. From here, you can easily add items directly to the job, manually enter an offline payment, create an estimate or load a sales proposal template, add files or custom documents, and even break this job down into smaller pieces using tasks. If you want to create an invoice, you can do that easily using this button up here. We won't dive deep into any of those topics since we've got an entire library of videos that go into greater detail. But that's it. You're all set to start creating jobs and workies. Feel free to subscribe to this channel for all the latest on how Workies can help your business grow. Thanks for watching.